rewrite each equation so that it contains no logs. The strategy for solving these questions is to bring all the terms which involve log to one side and the terms which do not involve logs to the other side, then combine all the terms which have logs and then write the resulting equation in such a way that it contains no logs. Let's apply this method to A. The equation is log base 3 of x minus y plus 1 is equal to 3 log base 3 of y. As the first step, we bring all the terms which involve log to one side, in this case to the left hand side, and we take all the other terms to the right hand side. We would have log base 3 of x minus y minus 3 log base 3 of y is equal to minus 1. As a step 2, we would combine all the terms on the left hand side, which involve logs. The coefficient of the first term is 1, so we keep it as it is, but the coefficient of the second term is minus 3. We move it up as the power of y, and we get plus log base 3 of y to the power of minus 3. This would equal minus 1. We know that the sum of the logs is the log of the products. when the bases are the same. So we can rewrite the left hand side as this. The right hand side remains minus 1. At this stage we can write the equation in a form that involves no logs. This can be done by the definition of log. Once again we remember that if b to the power of a is equal to c, then a is equal to log c base b. In other words, b to the power of a gives you c. In our case, 3 to the power of minus 1 will give us the expression inside the bracket. 3 to the power of minus 1 is x minus y times y to the power of minus 3. This is the original equation but in a form that involves no log. Now let's look at the second question. B. The original equation is ln x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 1 plus ln of x minus 3. We can bring all the terms involving ln to one side, in this case to the left hand side. We would have ln of x squared minus 5x plus 6 minus ln of x minus 3 is equal to 1. We can rewrite the left hand side using the property ln a divided by b is equal to ln a minus ln b as ln of x squared minus 5x plus 6 divided by x minus 3. And on the right hand side I still have 1. Let's rewrite this equation in a way that we can see the base. We would have log base e of x squared minus 5x plus 6 divided by x minus 3 is equal to 1. 
Once again, we note that if b to the power of a is equal to c, then log of c base b is equal to a. If you wanted to go from the second equation to the first equation, you would imagine b to the power of a is equal to c. Now I repeat this for the question we're dealing with. I would get e to the power of 1 is equal to the expression inside the bracket. So I will have e to the power of 1 is x squared minus 5x plus 6 divided by x minus 3. This equation involves no log function.